Hello guys, Mukas here. What's up? So, by watching a lot of uh, Gladius gameplay for uh, my last montage, I realized something it is that the model of the gun is amazing looking and it actually buffed the appearance of the game. Like, uh, the gameplay looks so much better with it. It's really um, shocking when you compare this with other gameplay, for example, with other models made by Daybreak. <laughs> it's like, what? Like the Fortuna compared to the Gladius? I think it, it's worth noticing, and um, now I hope maybe they, they'll update the other models. Honestly, Doku made an amazing job just with the Gladius. I'm not talking about the other guns because I haven't tried them yet, but just the Gladius lo looks beautiful, and uh, honestly the gameplay looks better with it. Much better than uh, with, with other guns. The weapon has an animation when you fire. The reload animation is uh, average, but just the model actually makes the game looks very good. I've watched the gameplay for, with the other SMGs, like the Canis. Again, I think the reload is not very good looking, but at least the, the model looks very nice, and it looks very Empire specific. Uh, the Gladius here has the, all the, the, the beautiful colors of the NC. I didn't put any camo on it because I think it looks good like that. Like it has the, the yellow, the, the blue, and the gray. It's uh, perfectly in line with the NC team. And uh, by doing the shooting for the thumbnail, I even realized that you can read the name of the gun on it uh, with high graphics. You can read MGR S1 uh, something. It's beautiful looking. Honestly, I didn't know that there were so, so many details until uh, I, I, d I did this thumbnail with Jarmont and uh, Twonky. So very good job, Doku. Now I really hope like they, they start updating the old models because uh, now I realized that they're freaking ugly. It's, it's horrible. I can also talk about the sound, the fact that uh, the, the sound of this gun sound much better than the others. Outstanding. I haven't got all day. It has a more realistic feel. It reminds me of the UMP-45 in Counter-Strike, even the model by the way. You can also see a huge difference, for example the model of the hand with the C4 looks horrible, like it's, it seems like it's uh, another hand holding the gun. You, you switch weapon and it's another hand, because the, the model looks, uh, looks terrible. Here the Desperado doesn't look too bad, uh, so it's not a big, uh, a big difference when you switch. But honestly, when you switch between weapons, uh, for example the Gladius and the C4, it's uh, very shocking the difference in quality. So please, they break improve the models. I think it could improve the the graphic quality of uh, Plant Side 2 without having uh, to change to Direct X12 or Direct X11 or, or 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 do something else. Just the models can make the game look much better. The 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 models of the guns. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay and um, please share this video with Daybreak so they can keep improving the models of the game. This would be great. Stay epic. Bye bye, guys. Outstanding. Yeah, piece of cake.